Welcome everybody, welcome to part 6, slightly different overview than as I normally do because I just got on with work and I forgot to do an uh, introductory clip into what we're actually going to be doing on this video. So you're actually seeing the finished item. So what I'm going to do now is just take you straight into making a profile to actually make the sewer pipe and how I actually did it. Now I want to make a form up to make the actual uh, sewer pipe or yeah, well sewer brickwork. And what I want to do is create an arch at the top with two sides. So I need to make some sort of form up to get the brickwork around it. And I'm hoping this is going to this is going to work. So what I've got here is it's the inside of a cling film. Uh, roll and what I've done I've split it in two and what I'm intending to do is first to glue this top section onto this piece of wood and then make the sides up on either side uh, to the size that I actually want so the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that down I'm going to leave it to dry and I'm going to do it with PVA because it's just going to give me a little bit longer just to make sure it's in the center so I'm going to do that and then I should come back when it's dry now everything's dry I know it's dry because it's been sat for at least three hours now so it's got to be dry if not I'll be taking the PVA back and complaining now what we have is we have the half of the uh, cling film roll sat on the top that rolls over now this is going to make our arch up for our brickwork. Now what we need to do is bring these sides out because we need something nice and flush to set the brickwork against. Now I've already found some bits of balsa wood which are going to do the job ideal. Two pieces. Now I'm not going to give you no sizes because it depends on what size arch you're going to build. I'm just sort of showing you that uh, any bits and pieces around will help you build a form up to do some brickwork. Now if we look at that you can see now that's level. So what I'm going to do now I've got the bits already cut so what I'm going to do now I'm going to get them glued on and then I'll come back to you. Now all the bits are glued together and as you can see that's our profile now. Two flat sides and an arch at the top. Now I'm going to turn it around the other end because I've been doing some marking. Now we now need to make this 30mm uh, and we need to put a small platform all the way along the edge to carry the first quarter bricks. Now I've worked out I require it about 30mm from that point to the bottom to actually make it look reasonable. Uh, very very easy to do if you don't know I will show you. Compass Set your compass up on the edge of the timber at the bottom. Like so. And just use your compass as a gauge. And just draw a line all the way through. Same on the other side. There we go. We've got our mark all the way through. Now what I'm going to do, I've already cut some pieces of uh, timber which I'm now going to glue onto that line right the way through pin it down and when I've done that I'll come back to you again okay that is my profile finished as you can see it's going to do the job very very well now what am I actually going to use it for well we'll move on to that next Right, the profile's been made, and this is what I'll be making using the profile. Uh, sewer sections to go into the diorama is going right the way through the centre from one end to the other. Now, you can see the arch. This is all made of uh, brick section, well, brick strips actually, but I'll get into that in a second. This is the first bit. This is uh, the front of the diorama. As you can see, it's cut away at an angle. This is to fit 
the angle that it was actually coming out of the diorama at. And uh, that's about as much as I can say. So what we'll do now, we'll move on. I'll show you what we're using and how I'm assembling it. Okay, quick look at the materials. Well, brick courses, should I say, before we start. And that's exactly what it is. It's a single brick course. Uh, mold number will be at the bottom of the screen. Now, this is done in Flemish bond, i.e. it's got a, uh, a stretcher, a header, a stretcher, a header, all the way along. It's a 9-inch wall, as it's two bricks wide. Also, along the top of it, you just about see there's little pins. Now, these pins are 0 0.5, and these will actually make up the spacing for your mortar joint, which is very, very handy. And like I say, they're a single course, so this makes them very, very ideal for uh, building arches. So that is about as much as I can say about the materials. So we'll get on and we'll get one of these assembled. Okay, assembly very, very easily. Now, what I've actually done, I've actually placed this on the, the diorama and I've drew a line across at the angle that this is actually going to come out. At the other end is just so I can follow that and do the brickwork accordingly. Now it's very very simple. All we do is one at a time uh, glue like so making sure that we've got it round the right way because we've got uh, two stretches that end and this time we've got one with a header and we simply just start bringing that back a course at a time right that's all I'll be doing up until that point so what I should do I should put you on pause I'll get glued up to that point there and then I'll just come back to you. okay we've reached that line there now now we start having to uh, stagger them out a little bit to actually get over the curve now very very easy to do we run the glue along the edge because there's no point of doing all of it because it only sticks on the edge as we start going over like so then we put our course in making sure it's against the former and then we use some of these. These are little uh, 0.5 thick balsa wood. I've just cut them into strips. And we use them as extra spacers. Now you get, it's going to end up looking like a hedgehog by the time you've finished. But these all get cut off. And it's just to set that gap as we go along. So it just t starts turning the brick. So that's what you do all the way along. Uh, there's there's no great secret to it. Just put them in. And also this binds the back half, uh, the back to the back of the, the other brick as well. So it does strengthen it up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to carry on. I want to get to the top. I'm going to, I'll come back and let you see what's going on. Right, I've reached the top. I know it looks a bit of a mess, a bit, a bit like a hedgehog. But by using them spacers, if we turn that, you can just see the brickwork coming up to the top point now. And the brick is standing on its edge. So it's opened the bricks, the back half up, and allowed it to curl round. Now, you've got that far to the top. And all you do then is you just turn it round, like so. And we start exactly the same again on this side. I shall just start off, bring it up to that line, and then I shall start turning them ones. So I'll get on with that, and I'll show you back shortly. Okay, I've reached the top. Everything has been put in. If we just turn that round, and as you can see, I'll tell you what I'll do, I shall try and focus that in so you can actually see. Just bear with me a second, people. There we go. Now you can see we've got the brickwork running right the way around, following the, 
transformer all nice and spaced out I know it looks like a hedgehog and to be honest with you that took me less time than it did to actually do my video clips so it's pretty quick and it's very very easy now I'm going to put that to one side and leave it to dry and then I'll come back to you and I'll go on, on, on to the next step okay what I've done is I've just cut all the uh, pieces of bolt wood off just to leave that all nice and flat now all we do now is literally mix up some decorators filler to a nice paintable paste like we do with the uh, grating up on the brickwork and just fill the, uh, the gaps in get as much in there as you possibly can uh, the only bit you need to be sort of clean with is the end that's actually showing the rest of it you don't have to wipe off you can leave it rough whatever you want because all this is going to be underground now I have my first section this end because this is the way it sits through the actual uh, diorama I will be cutting this off flat the same as this one and my next task is now to actually build a middle section uh, to join these two up so it fits right the way across the diorama and you're going to say why didn't you just do it all in one well the simple reason is I didn't do it all in one because I need to actually make a base for this to actually sit on so we can actually put some water in it and all bits and pieces like that and if you built it all in one it would have been just a little bit too much to handle and sort of get in line so that's the reason why I've, I've made it in three sections now I'll be getting on with that I shall get all this done the center one built then I'll come back to you just to show you all the three sections and then we'll get on and we'll get it fitted into the diorama and see how it looks three sections done I've cut the middle section I've just trimmed it up uh, just to make it fit it is the right size actually for the uh, for the diorama now so it's had a brown wash right the way through the two ends have had a black wash but the middle one needs a black wash just to finish it off they're not 100% dry yet so I'm going to put these to one side and now we can move on we can get marked up and we can get this trench cut ready to get these put in okay time to do a bit of cutting now I've marked out uh, right down the center how much I want to take out to get, actually get the sewer in because it is quite big so I've marked it all up so I'm going to be chopping this out I'll just take getting the hand saw to it and just cutting it down right to the bottom because uh, I need to get as much space as I can to actually get this uh, sewer in so I'm going to go off and get that done and uh, I'll shoot back in right. I've chopped that out, a nice big hole we've got running right the way through now, look at that. A huge great big trench and it looks massive actually. Uh, but it's the right size for these uh, sewer pipes. Now, I've actually drawn two lines down. Now the two lines are the inside of the sewer pipes. Now, what I want to do move that into shot so you can actually see it what I actually want to do is I'm going to use some five inch curbs and I'm going to glue them all the way down both sides to actually make like the benching up that's inside the sewer and then I'm going to fill that with AK's uh, well it's called mucky puddles uh, I'm going to fill it with AK's mucky puddles as a water effect in the actual sewer so that is my plan so what I'm going to do now I'm going to get on I'm going to get these all glued in and uh, when I've done that I should come back to you okay we've got all the curbs in I've given it a coat of black paint and a little bit of a wash I'm going to leave that now to dry and as soon as it's dry enough I'm going to throw a bit of this in this is uh, AK's uh, puddles mucky puddles as I call it it's from their diorama uh, range very good actually so once that's dried once it's dry enough I shall get this in because I really want to get this uh, sewer in so I can get the top back uh, so I can get some 
blocks down and getting this on the way to being finished. Right, I've put my three sections in, I've glued them down, I've used a piece of cling film over the top of it, uh, just to stop any of the dust and muck from going inside. Now, the piece of uh, foam that I actually cut out, now I'm just going to cut it and try and get it fitted back uh, into position uh, so I can get some block work on top of it. So I'm going to get that done and I should be back with you in a little while. Okay, I've got it backfilled, I've got it sealed, I've given it a, a coat of PVA, so we're all ready now to put blocks on it. Now I'm going to be putting three drains in. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen them. They are tiny little drains, but the mold number will, for them will be at the bottom of the screen as normal. So there's going to be three drains put in. And I'm also debating about putting a manhole in. Now, by rights, the manhole should be out here somewhere. But I'm going to put a manhole, I think, in the centre. Now, it's a bit of a cunning plan because if this sewer isn't that bright when you're actually looking down it, I'm thinking of then using the manhole uh, to actually just cut down or drill down put a small LED and I can then hide the battery inside the manhole so that's what I'm thinking so I've got a, a French style manhole so I probably will be putting that in there so I'm going to get on with the block, block work now now I'm doing it exactly the same way as what I did with the pads uh, I'm going to be running two courses all the way around the edge uh, to take the drains to start off with and then I'll just be going across but I will keep popping backwards and forwards to let you see uh, how I'm doing it okay well I've got two courses in when I find myself a pointy stick we'll have a sharp scalpel this time uh, I've done two courses all the way along that's to actually make the gutter uh, I've put the drains in either side that's what the line is going across so I'll get them uh, nicely spaced out the, the actual corner because I've no, I haven't really said much about going around the corners now on this one I used a mixture of the both blocks the 10 inch and the 8 inch so I used the 8 inch and then I used the 8 inch halves to just go around the corner nice and gently and then on the outside of it I used the uh, 10 inch halves and went round uh, and bowed that you know just took it round nice and neatly and it works extremely well so that's how I did the corner now the line that I've got drawn across there that is where is virtually where my, where my uh, blocks are going to finish because now I'm going to go across in lines all the way down here so I'm going to get started on that and I shall be back with you in a while okay I'm about halfway through now all I've been doing is running lines from one side to the other one at a time putting the cut in pulling the line across and finishing off easy as that and then I'll just work them the two drains backwards and got this back half finished that's all complete now and now I'll be working from this point forward so I shall see you in a little while yeah I have completed all the block work and extremely happy with it it went down uh, easy just a little bit time consuming because there's so many individual blocks that have to be led now uh, for the people who have got very sharp eyes you may have noticed that there's no manhole which I did say I was going to put a manhole in there I couldn't bring myself to put one in because I just knew it wouldn't be there so I decided to go with my instincts and not put one in uh, if we do have a problem with light actually in the tunnel I'll come up with another idea I shall actually drill to the bottom and put an LED light in the actual water uh, but that's a, another thing now I'll pull you back a little bit just so you can maybe get a a full view of everything, refocus everything because I'm still on manual focusing. 
and I'm quite happy. I, it's really turned out well. It looks okay. It really does look good. Uh, the sewer pipe's all in, but I will do some close-up pictures when I've finished uh, and tag them on to the end. I haven't really finished. Uh, this is the end of the video, though, but I haven't finished doing... There's lots more to be done. I've started filling in around the actual uh, sewer pipe. There's going to be a lot more work to be done on that, uh, which will be coming up in the next video. Uh, moving into the inside, we've still got another floor to put in, and we still got the wallpaper in which, finally, it has turned up. I have got some wallpaper now, so I can get on with that. But I need to get some photocopied off first, because I haven't got enough. But there you go. Uh, but all in all, I'm extremely happy with it. It looks, look, it look, does look good. And now it's going to be a lot of uh, weathering and messing about. Uh, the next job I really want to do is actually get the actual base done so I can get these sides done as well. So that will all be coming up in the next video. You may have noticed as well, I've actually got a set of railings in there. I will include that in the next video. They're very, very easy to make. Uh, it only takes a few minutes, but I will run through it with you on the next one so you can just see how I do it, just so you can probably, you know, work out an idea for yourself. And generally, that's it. Uh, overall, I'm happy, really am happy the way it's looking and the way it's going. Uh, touch wood, when I can find some, touch wood. And that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to tag some pictures on and I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.